Hi friends, welcome you back. Uh, I am in the previous video. I had started this pairs of linear equations. This chapter I had started, and this is the second video which I am making on this particular chapter. Now I have gone through your question papers, old question papers, and found that they are asking uh, four problems for eight marks. Uh, one pro two problems for one one mark and one problem for two marks and one problem for four marks. Now the four marks problem is always on graphical method of solving a pair of given linear equations. Graphical method that I will be doing. I will I'll do it now uh, afterwards. But now uh, in the two mark question they are giving uh, this a solution like we did they give a pair of equations and either by substitution method or cross multiplication method or by any suitable method he says he doesn't specify any particular method he says by any suitable method you just uh, solve it that is find the value of x and y now apart from this they can also give a uh, problem on by in the form of a sentence also on this linear equation they can give they have not given in the previous papers i have seen three four papers they have not given but it is there in this syllabus so we have to do at least a few problems on that now here he says form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions if they exist by elimination method he says now the first problem is if we add if we add 1 to the numerator 1 to the numerator numerator and subtract 1 from the denominator and subtract 1 from the denominator from the denominator denominator the fraction reduces to 1 the fraction reduces to 1 reduces to 1 then if only if we only add 1 to the denominator if we only add only add 1 to the denominator 1 to the denominator one to the denominator denominator it becomes half it becomes 1 by 2 it becomes 1 by 2 find the fraction he says find the or what is the fraction he says now this is a problem in which the this is a problem on the space of linear equation but here it is not given in the form of equation it is given in the form of sentence and we have to form the equation and then solve it now how do we do it now we will say let the fraction be let the fraction be fraction be x by y x by y that is numerator is x denominator is y now in the first case he says if we add 1 to the numerator that means x plus 1 divided by and subtract 1 from the denominator y minus 1 will be will give you the value will be 1 the value of this fraction will become 1 this is the first first equation the second equation is if we only add 1 to the denominator that is we don't change the numerator it will be x only here if we add 1 to the numerator uh, denominator if we add 1 to the denominator the value of the fraction becomes half now this is another 
uh, equation. Now they are not in the standard form. We have to bring it to the standard form. Now this equation, what happens is I can change it as uh, x plus one. If you cross multiply into one, that will be x plus one only is equal to y minus one into one. That is y minus one only. Now if you send it this side. x minus y x minus y is equal to minus 1 and this plus 1 if i send that side it will become minus 1 it becomes minus 2 that is one equation if this equation i can change as cross multiplying i get 2x is equal to y plus 1 or it can be changed into 2x minus y is equal to uh, is equal to 1 now these are the two equations now here both the y or the coefficient of y in both uh, equations is 1 so i can straight away without multiply i can straight away proceed and find out its this thing both are negative so i will say subtracting this becomes minus this becomes plus this becomes minus now x minus 2x that is minus x is equal to this will get cancelled minus 2 minus 1 that will be minus 3 so therefore x will be equal to 3 both sides if you cancel negative sign it will be 3 now i got x the value of x take one of these equations I have x minus y is equal to minus two. Either you take this equation or you take this equation. Then uh, you substitute for x in this. X is three, right? Minus y is equal to minus two. So minus y will be equal to minus two minus three. This three, if it goes that side, it becomes so minus y will be equal to minus five. So y will be equal to five. So that is the value of five. Now the required fraction is therefore the fraction is three by five. Three by five is the fraction. The fraction. The answer of the problem is three by five. Now if you add one to three, three plus one divided by five minus one. If you subtract one from the denominator, it becomes. Four by four, that is one. So x plus one divided by y minus one will be equal to one. Similarly, x if I keep as it is three divided by y plus one, that is five plus one. This will be three by six, that is one by two. So both equations are satisfied. So this is the correct answer. We will take up one more problem. One more, one more problem. Uh, a lending library, a lending library, has fixed charge for the first three days. A lending library, a lending library, has a fixed charge. A lending library. That is a library. It is also called as circulating library, a private library who give books on charge. Has a fixed charge of for the first three days. Has fixed charge for the first three days. For the first three days. Three days. And and an additional charge and an additional charge for for each day thereafter for each day thereafter. Thereafter, Sarita paid. Sarita paid. 
सरिता पेड़ रुपीस ट्वेंटी सेवन फॉर ए बुक ट्वेंटी सेवन फॉर ए बुक फॉर ए बुक शी केप्ट फॉर शी केप्ट फॉर बुक फॉर सेवन डेज फॉर सेवन डेज फुल स्टॉप वाइल सूसी पेड वाइल सूसी पेड रुपीस twenty one for the book she kept for for the book she kept for she kept for five days five days find the fixed charge and the charge for each extra day find the fixed charge fixed charge and the extra charge the charge the charge for each extra day for each extra day now here there are two cases first i uh, what we have to do is first let us say let the fixed charge let the fixed charge for how many days for first 3 days for first 3 days 3 days b rupees x per book b rupees x and let the extra charge for each day for each day after 3 days after 3 days b b rupees y now the first girl sarita has kept the book for 7 days so x will be there for sarita the calculation is like this for sarita for first 3 days he will charge x rupees plus for in the extra days after 3 days the extra days she has kept is 4 days after 3 days if she has kept it for 7 days for first 3 days she will be charged x rupees and for the extra 4 days for each day she will be charged y rupees so 4x plus 4y will be equal to 27 rupees or 27 just write 27 now while susi for susi it is she has kept it for 5 days right so x rupees will be for first 3 days the extra days are 2 days so 2y x plus 2y is equal to how much 21 now uh, if i want to eliminate y i will have to multiply this by 1 this by 2 if i want to eliminate x i can straight away eliminate because it is one in both the cases the coefficient is 1 so i will take this like this subtracting both are plus so this becomes minus this also becomes minus this also becomes minus so x and x plus minus x uh, plus x and minus x get cancelled 4y minus 2y is 2y 2y is equal to 20, 27 minus 21 is 6 so y is 6 by 2 that is 3 rupees per day Three rupees for every extra day. Why is three rupees? The charge is three rupees. Now to find x, I will take one of the equation. 
I will take the any one equation you can take x plus 4y I have got 27 so x is 3 plus 4y y I don't know is equal to 27 so 4y is equal to 27 minus 3 27 minus 3 that works out to 24 so y will be equal to 24 by 4 that is rupees 6 per day if you return if you return the book after 3 days it is 3 rupees only if it is no if you, if you return return oh no, this is y no? sorry sorry this I made a mistake here I put x as 3 not correct I should have put y as 3 so x plus 4 into 3 is 27 so x plus 12 is 27 so x is 27 minus 12 that is 27 minus 12 is 15 15 rupees x is 15 rupees for 3 days this is so for first 3 days it is 15 rupees next for every extra day it will be charged 3 rupees per day ok now we will check whether it is correct or not. Now in this case x is 15 plus 4 into 3 12. So 15 plus 12 is 27. Here x is 15 plus 2 into 3 6. 15 plus 6 is 21. Correct. It is correct. So this is how it is to be done. Now I hope you have understood this. Then we don't have, you don't have this cross multiplication type. In fact, they are not giving any of these problems. Uh, but anyway, we have done, we, I have done some problems here for you. Uh, there is one more type of problem that can be asked here. We will do one or two of these problems also. Okay, we will do this. Solve. They are not giving these problems in the question papers I was I have seen. I have three question papers, old question papers. In none of them these problems are there. Anyway, but because it is there in your book, it you must be in a position to solve it in case it is given. You can't say I I won't do it because you are not given it. This thing. Solve the equations of equation given by reducing them to a pair of linear equations. Now the first problem here is, the first problem is, the first problem is like this, 1 by 2x, 1 by 2x plus 1 by 3y, 1 by 3y is equal to 2. This is one equation. And the other equation is 1 by 3x, 1 by 3x plus 1 by 2y, 1 by 2y is equal to 13 by 6. Now these are, these are actually a pair of linear equations but they are not in the usual form. Now what we do here is here you can solve it by putting let let 1 by x is equal to p and 1 by y is equal to q. Now what happens is we get instead of x and y we get two equations in p and q, two linear equations in p and q. So here what will happen is it will be p by 2. 1 by x becomes p plus oh, q by 3 is equal to 2. Here it will be, uh, this is 1, 1 equation, 1 by 3p, one, uh, p by 3, p by 3 plus q by 2 will be equal to 13 by 6. They will become like this. Now, 
the LCM here is 6. So this becomes 3P plus 2Q is equal to 2. 3P plus 2Q is equal to 2 into 6, it becomes 12. This is one equation. Here, uh, 6 is the LCM again. Uh, 2P plus 3Q is equal to 13 by 6. So this 6, this 6 can be cancelled. So you get 2P plus 3Q is equal to 13. So these are, you get two equations. Instead of X and Y, we are getting two equations in P and Q. Two linear equations in P and Q. You have to find out the value of P and Q here. Then you substitute in this, this thing and get the value of X and Y. Now, here, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Now what I do is, the coefficient of uh, here, the coefficient of Q is 3, here it is 2. So I will multiply this equation by 3 and this equation by 2. Now see what will happen. 9P, 3 into 3P, 9P plus 6Q is equal to 36 here. There, 4P, 4P plus 2 into 3, 6Q. I have equated the coefficients of Q as 6 in both. Is equal to 2 into 13, that is 26. Now, you have to subtract because both are plus here. This becomes minus, this becomes minus, this also becomes minus. So what happens? This gets cancelled. Plus 6Q minus 6Q gets cancelled. 9P minus 4P is 5P. 5P is equal to 36 minus 26, that is 10. So P will be equal to 10 by 5, that is 2. P is 2. Then what is Q? Now here, 2 into P is 2 plus 3Q is equal to 13. So 4 plus 3Q is equal to 13. So 3Q will be equal to 13 minus 4, that is 9. 13 minus 4 is 9. So Q will be, Q will be 9 by 3, that is 3. Q is 3, P is 2. Now we have to find out the value of X and Y. So 1 by X we have taken as P. So 1 by x is equal to p is 2. So if you cross multiply, 2x is equal to 1. If you cross multiply, x into 2 is 2x is equal to 1 into 1. So x is half. Similarly, 1 by y is equal to q. So q we have got as 3. So 1 by y is equal to 3. So 3y is equal to 1 or y is equal to 1 by 3. So the solution is x is equal to 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 3. That is how it is to be solved. Now again here also there are a number of problems but they are not giving these problems anyway. I have just done it for the sake of doing it. You can uh, go through, you can do some more problems in this. I will take up next uh, some problems from the, this thing and graphical method of solving the problems. Uh, this simultaneous equation or pair of linear equations. Is that okay? Now I finish here, I stop here and uh, you, I will take, make one more video in this in which I will be doing the problems from the question paper.